human senses are the old but future phase possibility to get things done in facility management. Within the next minutes, I show you this possibility, this innovation, and how to deal with. So, please come with me to a short journey. To a short journey, thanks a lot. Um, we are beaming to a standard building in the next three seconds. So, I'm sorry, I'm not counting in French, I'm uh, counting in, in English. So, three, two, one, and here we are. You can, we are landed within the building. You can find and see chairs, tables, and many other typical office stuff you can find all over the world. As a professional facility and real estate manager, you are able to find the daily tasks in a second. Rubbish on the floor and in the waste baskets, dirty glasses and plates, damaged sun shading systems, need of maintenance for the coffee machine, plans that should be watered, malfunctions of technical systems, and many, many more. What a nearly unmanageable job facility and real estate managers have every day. It is not easy to have all this on your agenda. Yes, it is a daily challenge to have your eyes and ears in every corner of the building. But the industry has an answer for our world. Their marketing managers tell us that we just need automatic sensors all over the building. Those small sensors are the important part of the Internet of Things initiative and the buzzword big data. The industry tells us that this is the solution to solve all problems within our buildings. So, just buy their products and place them everywhere. Buy the intelligent wastebasket or the lamps and furniture with sensors, have self-detecting floors and plant pots. The coffee machine has to call automatically the maintenance team. Install toilet paper boxes who know that they need new toilet papers and connect this information with the cleaning cycle and many more. You see, there are a lot of possibilities to implement these wonderful gadgets the industry tells us to buy. And this is just the beginning of a big marketing campaign. Their videos show us that, sorry, their videos show us that these sensors tell us every second what is happening in our building. What a wonderful world. Facility managers can be placed behind a screen a big monitor. They sit there the whole day and night, waiting for alerts they get automatically from the systems. The only skill they need is to check the given charts. Robots doing the rest. But come with me to have a deeper insight. Today, a standard office room has about three sensors. If you summarize, the sensors in every gadget the industry offers us for the, our future buildings, we will have many more. But more sensors is equivalent to more data. As we all know, today with less sensors, it is not easy to handle all the data we get out of our building systems. So I'm really afraid to have massive data overload in the future. And that's not the end. To maintain all these sensors will be more than a full-time job. Here's a second insight I want to discuss critically with you. The industry tells us that algorithms are the brains of the future. Well, let's have a closer view. Algorithms calculate with statistical methods to merge the data input for a future forecast. So every decision out of this is trained with data from the past. If they are only able to show problems that, ha that have been existing and detected as problems yesterday, do we really need their support? And keep in mind, an algorithm is only that intelligent as the coder had given him the ability to be. And, well, 
there's a next problem. I think we are struggling with technical gadgets in our building. We all know that technical equipment from different companies are talking in different languages. This we can see every day in our existing buildings. And the only answer I get from the industry since years is that with an upgrade of their components, everything would be better. I'm afraid that these language barriers of the building components will increase with more sensors. I live in Munich, and I will give you a short insight to the fire department. Two out of three fire alarms are false alarms, mostly caused by self-acting fire protection systems. Every time I hear the fire siren, I hope this is just a false alarm. But think about our service teams within our buildings. It would be a hard job to tell them that they have to run three times to replace the toilet paper once. We have to put many extra power to hold the service level agreements if many false alarms buck the service stuff. This is not only my point of view. Hospitals all over the world quit the cooperation with the big data industry. They stop, for example, cancer tests being automatically analyzed with big data algorithms. They learned within the last years that machines cause too many false alarms with fake statistical correlations and other data disorders. So I don't think that solving problems with more self-acting gadgets will make our job easier. I told you to show an old but future phase possibility to get things done in facility management. Well, here is my vision. We need to implement more human sensors. Human sensors detect malfunction without training or searching through a long list of data. Human sensors can post detailed information for every problem they find. Human sensors are widely connected all over the building and they can make their detections everywhere. Human sensors get energy self-sufficient without changing batteries all the time. Human sensors can be easily adapted to changing conditions. And there is no need for a central unit. Human sensors have their own brain inside everybody. You can find human sensors in every building. Yes, they are colleagues, staff members and guests. Everyone can be a human sensor. Well, the only thing you need is to activate them and put their activity on the right track. Therefore, I think you need to integrate an easy-to-handle feedback system. Within the next minutes, I'm going to show you two solutions um, we developed and tested in our research institution. The first feedback system I'll show you is a push button. The button is placed at touch points where one message can trigger one often asked action. The message sent to the facility management contains the action and the location itself. So push the button and the facility management is on the scene. I show you some ideas to place the button. Well, at the moment, you all know we discuss the possibility to empty the waste baskets only one time a week. I think it would be more customer friendly to let human sensors interact when the basket is full. Or imagine how many dumb sensors you need to smell the old banana that one colleague put in the wrong basket. Human sensors can interact before you have a problem. The next case is a well-known problem after a coffee break. Let human sensors push only one button in a, in a second to ask the facility management team to clean the kitchen. Do you remember how often you are not able to get a cup of coffee because the coffee machine is in maintenance. Human sensors push the button and the next colleague is happy. 
No need to pull out your smartphone, search for the facility management app, type a message and forget the room number. The facility manager can track every message on the screen. With the information every button is sending itself, the action can be located. And even paper action is much easier to control. The service team can be informed within seconds and the app is sending all relevant information. This system can help to improve reaction times and raise the standard quality. It could be even cost-saving on the perspective of time you save walking around the building to check everything. There's another feedback system I want to show you. It is a solution to get data out of human sensors. Customers and end users can help the facility management to detect problems or have a better experience with our, within our buildings. They are not stupid users we ignored many times. Yes, they really can help us. But we all know that it's not easy to speak to all of them. Many times we don't know if this or that is an opinion of many or only of some people. And well, we do surveys. They are annoying everyone with long lists of questionnaires. You all know that. So I think this is one reason why facility managers are afraid of involving customers to help them with their daily job. I'm not talking about facility managers that forgot that their job shall focus to all people inside their facility. I'm talking about facility managers who know that their job has to be service-oriented to the end user. Facility managers that have implemented the idea of hostmanship into their daily business. So we developed an innovative tool to get feedback very quickly. Our analyses show that with only two questions you can get detailed information. And two questions are finished in two minutes. You know how difficult it is to analyze given texts within questionnaires. Therefore, we built a semantic text analysis tool to cluster the answers automatically and detect the text to show a problem or a positive feedback that you are doing a great job. This is mostly done in a second, without a need of an extra effort of the facility management. Yes, the facility manager can have a quick view on the charts. The most often mentioned topics can be highlighted within seconds. If you go in deeper to every text that participants handed in, you can find the details. It is easy to implement these findings in your quality management and then decide how to fulfill the customer's needs. The quick feedback system allows never-ending service or service that can be regularly repeated. Facility management that listens to the end user is, in my point of view, the one and only integrated facility management we really need. So, here is my message to all facility managers. Keep calm and benefit from human touch. There are many ways human sensors can help the facility management, today and tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs>